The Heavy is the most powerful rocket that we currently launch right now. So anytime the Air Force needs to send up heavy payload, this is the vehicle they have to use. The Launch Systems Enterprise Directorate provides the Department of Defense and the National Reconnaissance Office with assured access to space. It doesn't matter if it's a heavy or if it's a medium, we do the same process. We have you know, parts that have to be checked on and, and that process is always the same and it's always a slow process to make sure that you know, when we hit the launch button, it's ready to go. You know, so everything has to be perfect. Elliot works with the other directorates and the other organizations to make sure their payloads get into space. We have ignition of the RS-68 engines. Two, one, zero. We have liftoff of the We work on that rocket. mission assurance aspect of getting that payload into space and integrating that payload onto the rocket and into its orbit. The rocket is on Slick 37 and the MST is rolled up to it. It's kind of in its housing and Tomorrow, starting at 6.30 in the morning, they're going to roll that MST back and you'll see the rocket in its full glory. It's sunrise here at the Cape as Delta and NRO team up for their voyage into space. The encapsulated payload stack aboard the Delta IV Heavy weigh in at 1.6 million pounds fully fueled. The NRO is the government agency responsible for the design and operation of the country's fleet of reconnaissance satellites. This is the ninth heavy configuration to fly and stands 235 feet tall. The launch is known as NROL-37. Being here at the Cape is always an experience. There's always things happening. So when we got here, we did our design center walk down where we went with our ULA and aerospace counterparts and walked up and down the rocket, inspecting everything, doing our um, closeouts, making sure everything was looking good. This job isn't really a job that people my age, about 26, expect to have. When you're in college, you kind of look at this position as something where um, more experienced people in the industry have. So being put into this position and this responsibility at this age is a good opportunity, and uh, it's, I'm really thankful for it. Countdown begins now for the Space and Missile System go. Center's Launch Maybe. Enterprise Team. Go. AC. AC is go. RC. Clear to proceed. Launch director. The launch vehicle is ready to launch. Five, four, we have main engine ignition, two, the Delta IV Heavy launches from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, carrying the NRO payload into orbit. Every time I'm speechless. To be honest, I never knew that I would be in my position today. The history of Cape Canaveral, I never knew I'd be on Cape Canaveral, to be honest. I geek out every time I come on base. It's really special to be here the moment that it actually lifts off. When you actually see a rocket lift off, you kind of forget about all the, the hard work and the long hours you put in and you kind of get those goosebumps going up your spine as it goes up into the air and you kind of see it actually happen successfully. To get this opportunity to come here and, and to sit on console and learn you know, what you know, real rocket science is, it's, it's incredible and it, it is really a great opportunity and I'm sure wherever I go next won't be as great as this.